What's up, everybody? This is Yuta. And I got a comment here that really, to me, it really don't make sense, but here we go. This comment is from somebody that calls themselves Ant, 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 dash D, Eight K. Now we had a discussion back and forth, and this was their last response. This is all about me trying to explain to him about the races in the Bible, which the Bible don't use the word race, it uses other nations. <clears throat> Anybody with common sense would know that. You can call it race, ethnicity, bloodline, or whatever you want to call it, still means the same thing. But his last response was this. I'm not condoning taking strange wives slash husbands, but can you show where in the Old Testament race is spoken of? Now we all know the word itself is not in the scriptures. But it just takes a little bit of common sense to understand that it's implemented. As opposed to bloodline. Now, I don't really know what they mean by that because I'm not opposing race to bloodline. Because when you boil it down to the bottom line, it means the same thing, especially these days. When you fill out a job application, they ask you, what is your race or your ethnicity? So when we talk about the races concerning scripture regarding the Israelites, we commonly use the word race. But some people, wants you to give them specifics. Everything in the scripture is not specific. It's in context. And it's that's the reason why a person should go and gather context so they can get a clear understanding as to what's going on. So he says, as opposed, he or she, as opposed to bloodline, if it were about race, phenotype, he's trying to use some big words here, Egyptians and Israel would have been considered the same people. Now, I understand what they're getting at, but it's so far from the truth. Because if they really studied, they would be aware of the Zondervan Bible Dictionary that clearly describes Ham as the progenitor of the dark races, the Ethiopians, Cushites, and the Canaanites, but not the Negroes. That clearly separates the races or the ethnic groups. Like I said, it just takes a little common sense. But this person is wanting me to break it down and show him in the Bible where it says race. Well, nobody can do that, but we can show you where it's implemented. As for example, when Solomon says, my skin is black upon me, or my skin is, uh, as, what is it, black unto the ground? It don't take a genius to figure that out. So no, and, 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 Egyptians and Israel would not have been considered the same people, if even if the word race was used. Race does not claim bloodline. In the context of the word race today, it refers to a certain group of people, like the Negroes. Now, I get the feeling that this is either not a black person or a black person that's in a relationship with a white person or another nation or a white person that is on a black channel that's gotten a bit, a little bit offended. 
If I offended you, it was not my intent. When I bring scripture, I don't try to offend nobody. But the question you asking me is ridiculous. He said that the uh, Egyptians and Israel would have been considered the same people, along with many other nations. Now, how ludicrous is that? And again, I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just stating the facts. Listen, look at what you said. Along with many other nations. How is that possible to put every nation in one group? And say they're all the same because I use the word race, which I'm not even sure if I did or not. And he goes on to say he or she. Yes, I'm familiar with the strange wives being put away in Ezra, but I'm also familiar with Rehoboam, Moses' son, who were considered Levites from an Ethiopian wife, Solomon's Hittite mother. Etc. I don't see any solid scriptural backing for excluding the children of Israelite men because of their mother's bloodline. I don't think I ever said that, but just to set the record straight, the bloodline is not set by the mother. It's set by the progenitor, which is the father. So he says, he or she, and I, I wish people would use something in their handle that will let me know if you're male or female so I can address you properly. But he goes on, he or she, if there is, please inform me without omitting any of the examples of the so-called half-breeds. How is that possible? Based on your question, you leave me no choice. But since we are on the subject of half-breeds, Let's just examine one reason why we are not to mix with other races or ethnic groups. One of the main reasons is it causes you to leave your creator and worship another. Number two, it creates half-breeds, hybrids. Remember the fallen angels? That's what they did. Must have been a bad deal because they got severely punished. So obviously we're not to create half-breeds. If that's what the creator wanted, there would have been half-breeds from day one. Adam would have been mixed. He would have been half-breed. So he says, or she says, that were considered Israelites in the Old Testament. Well, Check this out. First Kings chapter 11 verse 2. Now, this is the best that I can do based on the way they asked the question. According to the Bible, the creator told the Israelites not to marry people from other nations. Why? Because they were of different ethnic groups. Their bloodline was different. Now you can call it race, creed, nations, whatever you want to call it. It boils down to the same thing. They're not the same people. He says because it will cause them to turn away from their creator and worship other gods. This is stated in 1 Kings chapter 11 and verse 2, which says you must not marry people of other nations or races or ethnic groups or bloodlines. I really hate getting questions like these because they don't really make no sense. And I don't mind answering questions. I answer them all the time. But ignorance. This is just pure ignorance. And the creator says, if you do, they will cause you to follow their gods. But that wasn't the only reason. By marrying outside of your nation, you bring forth hybrids. We are created on this earth as Israelites to produce after our seed. 
not mixing two different seeds, which would be a hybrid. That is not a creation of the Most High Creator. That is your personal creation. And this is how you breed your race or ethnic or bloodline out. You keep or if our people keep breeding with other nations, pretty soon there won't be any more Israelites. There won't be any Hebrews. They will be all new creatures. Totally hybrids. Two different bloodlines mixed. Which is unacceptable. That was one of the problems with the fallen angels. Breeding with earthly women. These hybrids are not the creator's creation. Now, like I said, I am not trying to beat this person up. I, I really don't get the question. I don't know what they want me to say. But I will say this. Of course, the Bible does not mention the word race. But in the context, it is implemented by nations. Anything that is not your pure bloodline. And that just, it should go without saying. So why do you send me questions like this? Really, it makes you look bad. Because if somebody has to explain this to you, what is that saying about you? Now, I don't really know. I don't, I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know. But I'm honestly, truly trying to make sense out of your question and give you a reasonable and honest answer. Like I said, race the word is not mentioned in the Bible, but it don't need to be. I don't know, man. I tell you. I tell you, y'all listen. When you do these lessons, when you try to help your people understand the scriptures, I realized a lot of crap comes with it. I understand that. But some of it or most of it should make some kind of sense. And like I said, I get the feeling this person is in a situation where this offended him or he says that I mentioned he or she apparently they're saying that I mentioned the word race, I don't recall. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. If I did, I'm basing it off of my life's experience in these days where when I had to fill out an application for a job, that question was asked of me. And I had to check one of those boxes. And none of them said bloodline. They either said race or ethnicity. So what exactly are you trying to prove by asking a question such as this? Ant, 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 dash, what was it? Dash D8K. What, what are you trying to prove? You know, most of the time when people do this, it's an attempt to, I don't know, take a shot at me or try to make me look bad, stupid. I, I don't know. But I really can't 
see any other reason to ask a question like that when the context will make everything clear to you. So obviously you're not looking at context. If you were, you would be familiar with Deuteronomy chapter 28. That also describes a race of people or a bloodline of people. And you could take any one of those words and it's going to boil down to the same thing. Whether you want to call it race, creed, ethnicity, or bloodline. If you say those words to anybody today, the first thing that's going to pop to mind is race. So we should deal in the now. This is where we are. I can't go back and re rewrite the Bible. It's already been done. And I don't believe I ever told anybody or said the word race. And if I did, my bad. But if I did, it should have been understood in the context. Anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think about this question in the comment section. Shalom.